Hey beautiful faces, it's me Sonia and welcome back to my channel here at Fashion Reboot. I provide content to give you behind the scenes footage here in my reselling business. I am a sometime, part-time, whenever I make a sale time, reseller. So today, I am going to show you two, this is a haul. So I'm going to show you two sets of thrift haul. One from me and one from my husband. My husband went thrifting. We were in, um, what is it, Aspen? Aspen. Aspen, Colorado. He went thrifting and I'm very proud of some of the items that he actually thrifted. I'm going to show you some of the items that I thrifted, some for myself and then some to put on Fashion Reboot on Poshmark as well as my website, fashionreboot.store. So let's get started. We're going to get started, but before we do, I want to just give you, give you some information on my look today. I'll show you later what I'm wearing, but the top is from Fashion Reboot. It is a vintage 80s blouse, as you can see. I took the pads out. I normally like to show the pads, but with this blouse, I didn't want the pads, so I took them out. And the earrings, they are vintage, and they are from Stray Cats, uh, another reseller that I follow on Instagram. She has some really nice jewelry. And the hair is called... Jasmine. So I just wanted to plug that in really quick. So let's get started with the haul. The first item from my haul is a pair of mini Melissa's. Look how cute are these. Mini Melissa's. This is a size. What size is this? Uh, what size is this? A size 10. This is a size 10, 10 for girls. Really cute. They're in great condition and they are mini Melissa's. The next item I have, it is a pair of Nikes. Okay, so now I'm going to try to pronounce this brand. It's a Nike brand, but it is by Gaia Kusu. Gaia Kusu, which is one of the, I guess, additions of Nikes. I've never heard of this brand. This is a size... I think this is a size, hold on, let me see. I said that I need to get the sizes before I do these videos, and I never do. Uh, this is a size 8. Size 8, and the brand is Nike, and the addition is um, Gaia Kusu. If you've heard of that brand, leave me a comment below. I've never heard of them, but when I was thrifting, I went online to do the comps to see what these were selling resale and they are selling really good on resale so I purchased them and I got a vintage dress from the 80s I know some of you all definitely have worn something like this before this is a strapless dress with this sorry about the lighting with this uh, rhinestone brooch that sits right above the ruffles at the bottom of the dress, which is the hem of the dress, as you can see there. Look at it. And this is a size, let me see, let me see, let me see if I see the size on here. This is a size three, four. But this is really cute. And like I say, vintage is definitely making a comeback. It has made a comeback. And I see a lot of women that are styling themselves up with a mix match. Like either they're where the top would be vintage, the bottom would be modern, the shoes would be modern. Then they're probably, you know, accessorized with vintage jewelry or they'll have a vintage handbag. Basically, that's how I style myself. If it's not all vintage, it'll be a mix and match. But yes, she's adorable. You can see okay and let me see I have these like I don't know how to pronounce these shoes I've never heard of this brand see these I don't even know if these are sneakers they're sneakers slash work boots and they are called I want to say 
hates uh, uh, hikes. The spelling is H A H A I X. If you know how to pronounce this, please leave it. Leave me a comment. I found these. Never heard of them. When I saw them, they were really good shoes. The shoe quality is really good on them. So I did the comps, and the comps for resale were really high. So I bought them and I posted them. And so far, I've been getting likes, but no sale yet. Oh. Um. The next item I have a pair of Converse Chuck Taylor's high top Converse. I really like this color, this green color. These look practically brand new. You can see there. This is a size. These are men. Well, they actually can be unisex, but I want to say they're men. Yeah, they're unisex. So the men is a size four. Women is a size six. Excellent condition. These items have already been listed on my Poshmark page. Now, I did get an offer for these. I think I listed these for $35 on my Poshmark page. How about I got an offer for $12? Come on now. Those low ballers, they, they will try you. They will try you. They will try you. So I just politely declined. I didn't even, I didn't even give them a counter offer because I already know that they were not going to purchase them because they came in low. $12? No. Now, these are some of the items that I purchased for myself. I found this really cute dress by Flying Tomato, which I have learned that Flying Tomato has really nice clothes because I found a few of their items while thrifting. And every time I come across this brand, they always have such cute dresses or such cute uh, fashion style. I just love it. So this is a dress and it has like ruffles around but i do know or i noticed after i purchased it that some of the ruffles were coming apart but i'll have that fixed it's not it's not that bad i mean i wish i could sew but i can't so i'll take it to my seamstress and let them sew it but overall this is a really cute dress it's a size two size small i like the colors i like the prints and pattern I love the length of the sleeve and it has the the elastic on the cuff. Really cute. So I bought this for me. And I also bought this dress. Really cute dress. Almost looked like a nightgown, but it is it's a dress. Very silky. It's not silk, it's more like a satin material or fabric. And it is by Zara. Look how cute that is. Spaghetti strap. And then, I wish I could show you guys, style this, and then show you. Maybe I'll do that later. Maybe not in this video, but later on. But it has a high split right here. It has a high split. And then it has these buttons here. These are non-functional buttons. They don't, they don't open. They're stitched. But look how cute this is. I love this color. It's like a blush. A blush pink. Let me turn it that way so you can see it. It's very pretty. I love it. And I actually didn't buy this dress for me. I bought this dress for my sister. And this is adorable too. So it's like layers of ruffles here, here. And it's a maxi dress. See how long it is. Look at the print on the dress. I'm sorry if I'm covering my face, but I want you to see how the dress is. Then it has a cutout in the back of the dress. So let me give you guys a tip for, for resellers or anyone that's trying to start a reselling business. When you are buying your inventory, if you're sourcing through uh, thrift stores or if you're going through yard sales or if you're going to someone else's closet and doing buyouts you always want to check the function of the garment so like dresses you want to make sure that the clips are functionable meaning that they're on the dress or the garment you want to make sure that the zippers especially the plastic zippers 
because that was something that I did not do with this dress. I didn't check the zipper and when my sister tried it on, it fit, but the zipper don't work. It didn't, it didn't zip at all. Like it'll zip without someone being in the dress, but now I, I noticed that it won't zip all the way up. It stops like right there. Actually, that's where it's supposed to stop. Wait, does it? No. Yeah, it's, it's not working. So that's something you want to do. You want to make sure that the garment is functional, like make sure the buttons are there. Um, if it's a button that's missing and you think that you can stitch the button on, then that's fine. But for the most part, like this dress, the zipper needs to come all the way up and it's not working. So now we have to go get that fixed because it's such a pretty dress. I don't want to, I didn't want to pass it up or try to take it back. It wasn't going to take it back anyway. So then I found this very cute vintage outfit. I'm really thinking about keeping this. I may style it up, wear it out, and then put it on my website. But I found this vintage 1970s, 1960s, 1970s dress. And it has the boat neck collar. And it also has a cape or jacket, rather, to go with it. This is so cute. And I'm not sure of this boat neck. Let me let me not say that. I don't know if that's boat neck. If you know what that collar is, please leave a, a comment. I'm learning this stuff as I go. But yeah, this is really cute. The zipper is functional. See there? The zipper works. It goes all the way up. So that's what you want to do when you're shopping for your inventory. And the clip on the back also works. Okay? This is so cute. And believe it or not, this is a size 12. So you see the difference in the sizes now and the sizes then and how small the women were at a size 12. That's because the food that they were eating back then is not all this mess that we're eating now. So that should tell you something. All right, guys. So that's my that's my haul. We're going to come back. And I'm going to get started with my husband's haul. All right, beautiful faces. We're back for the second half of this thrift haul. And this is the thrift haul for my husband. So he went to two places. He went to a thrift store um, in Aspen. And let me tell you, that thrift store was so expensive. He only got a few things. I wasn't able to meet him there. But while he was in there, he was texting me things that he was looking at. And then he would text it to me to show me the price. And I would tell him, no, sir, put it back. But he did find maybe a few items from the thrift store in Aspen. I can show you really quick. He found this Patagonia pullover sweater. There. Nothing, nothing fancy, but it's, it's, it's the brand. This is the brand, and now we're coming into fall, winter, so this should sell really well. By the way, my husband will be opening up his closet soon, so stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys posted so that you can follow and support him. So we have this pullover sweater zipper in the front. It's functional. See there? And this is a size extra large for men. Women can wear it, too, because, you know, we wear whatever we want to wear now. We can wear men clothes, uh, boy clothes. It doesn't matter as long as it looks good. So, yeah, he found this in Aspen. And what about the HH shoes? What about the HH shoes? Okay. So I guess that was the only thing that he found in Aspen because it was really expensive so so now the other items that I'm about to show you he found these items in Deerfield uh Deer Valley. I'm sorry <laughs> Deer Valley Utah so we're gonna start with these pullovers and jackets because we are coming into fall winter and some areas in the U.S. get colder than others. So we're going to show you this pullover by Kelly Hansen, 
which is a brand to look out for. It is, you would know it by HH, but it is Helly Hansen, which is the name of the brand. So it's just a, a simple pullover. This looks like a lavender color. It is a size, let me see, a size large. He says this looks like a kid, but to me it looks like an adult because it's, it's pretty big. So this is a size large and it has pockets on each side. Um, it also has a hoodie. Okay. And it also has the strings to fit for comfort. And that is HH. It is Heli, H-E-L-L-E-Y, Hanson. Okay. You saw me throw that. Next I have, or he has, this is by Tabitha. Never heard of that brand. I don't know if, if any of you have. This is a size zero. And it's like a, I want to say linen jacket, like a, almost like a camouflage type jacket. It's really nice. It's simple, but it's nice. And it is a size zero. It has buttons down here. It also has buttons here on the side of the black, of the sleeve. And then it has pockets on each side in the front. It almost it's almost like a cargo jacket. That's what I was trying to get out. That's nice. Next we have a coat or jacket. I don't know if any of you ever heard of this brand. It's called Jillian Jones Intimates. So I don't know if this is something you wear at night, like a robe. You know, I have to do the research on this. But he said he got this by style because he just he just thought it was it looked nice. So remember now, these are the items that my husband thrifted. And this is a size large. Jillian Jones. So and it says Jillian Jones Intimates. Normally intimates are like nightwear. So but we'll see. Now, this, this item here, this item here, I really like. Um, this is by, what does it say? It says, it doesn't say, it doesn't say, it doesn't say. Oh, what is, oh, Romeo and Juliet. Never heard of that brand. I mean, I heard of the name, but not the brand. This is a size medium. And it's almost like a motorcycle jacket. It's not leather, it's faux leather. It's really nice though. It's it's good for like, I want to say like areas here in South Florida because we don't really get cold weather like that. When we get cold weather, it's nice. And this would be nice for that. So the zipper is functional. It's long sleeves. It has snaps at the top. You can see that of the jacket. I love this green because I've been a green girl lately. You know, my car is green, but I just love the look of it. Good job, honey. And it has, you know, zippers on the sleeve. It's it's all, it's like a, what can we call it? A motorcycle jacket or utility jacket. You know, this is a size medium. I really like that. Next, we have another jacket, but actually, this is more like a coat. And I thought this was really nice because I'm big on the color brown and I'm big on polka dots. This is so nice. I can see somebody really styling and jazzing this up. This is by Morona and it's a size medium. Calling all the influencers, style influencers. You can, I can see someone really styling this up, including myself. This is really nice. Good job, honey. So it's a double breast in the front. You know, see here, the button's there. And then it has a belt. And then it has, I think it has pockets. Yeah, it has pockets on the side. Nice. Yep. And next he has. A denim floppy hat. Almost looked like JJ from Good Times. 
This is nice though. It's really good, uh, good quality. Uh, let me see who the brand is. It says, is it say Lulu or Lola? Lola. Lola is the brand. Nice denim hat. Stitch very well. Cute. So I'm going to show you uh, a pair, a few pairs of shoes that he purchased. This one is called Modern Vintage. A pair of vintage booties. These are really cute. So they're like a taupe color and it's leather with suede on each side, you know, of the boot. This looks like it could be about a three, three and a half inch heel. It has a zipper. Let's see if it's functional. Let's see if it's functional. Yes, it is functional. So yes, this is really cute. It's in pretty good condition. There's a little wear at the bottom, but you know, most shoes wear when they're second hand. But overall, the shoes are, these shoes are in really good condition. Next, we have a pair of sneakers by HH, what I just mentioned with the pullover, which is the Kelly Hansen brand. I don't know if you have ever heard of this brand, but my husband has. And when I did the comps on these, they sell really well on doing in the reselling community. So these are a pair of Kelly Hansen. They are a size. I think these are a size 12. They falling out my hand. Yeah, these are size 12. White. There's a few little flaws, like some staining around the top, but that's nothing that we can't get out. That's why it's called Fashion Reboot. So I have to reboot it and give it some life and give it new character so that it can get purchased by someone new. And finally, he has a pair of Merrill. I think that's how you pronounce it. Merrill flip-flops. I did the comps on these. I never heard of these. But my husband, when he goes into the thrift store and he see these brands he's not familiar with, he'll send it to me and then I'll do the comps and I'll let him know, yeah, babe, that's a good one. My husband is a dresser too. He loves to dress. These are size 12. They are in really good condition. And um, they are already posted on Poshmark under Fashion Reboot. My husband doesn't have his page yet. His closet is coming soon, so be sure to follow me so that you can get his information so you can support him. Well, everyone, that completes my thrift haul with my closet and Fashion Reboot closet and my husband Danny's closet. Stay tuned for um, my next video. If you like anything that you saw in this video, be sure to follow me at all my uh, reselling platforms, which is Poshmark and fashionreboot.store. Poshmark is Fashion Reboot and the website is fashionreboot.store. And please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe and, and leave me a comment below because lately Instagram has actually been pushing my videos. So the more you communicate and engage into the videos, the more that they will push it. All right, guys, thank you again for tuning in. Until the next time, you'll see me in the next video. Have a sunny day.